Imagine this. You're standing in front of your ideal audience. And from the minute you begin speaking, you have their undivided attention. They laugh at your jokes and they cry when you open up and share your softer side. The audience is with you the whole time. They're rooting for you. They love your stories. And when you're done, they're inspired to change their lives. You get a standing ovation, woo! When you leave the stage, people line up to shake your hand and tell you how moved they were. Can you picture yourself in this scene? What I've just described to you is what it's like to deliver a prize-winning speech. And tonight, I'm gonna to tell you how I wrote and presented a speech that won first runner-up at District 53's International Toastmaster Speech Contest on May 9th, 2015. Here's my prize, woo -hoo. But first, let's take a walk down memory lane. I wasn't always a prize-winning speaker. In fact, when I joined Toastmasters almost four years ago, I was petrified of public speaking. I used to shake. But over the past four years, I've worked really hard and I've delivered over 30 speeches. And step by step, I have overcome many of my fears and gained the confidence and the skills to deliver a TEDx talk and a prize winning contest speech. I even get paid to speak now. So what can you do to keep improving your speaking skills so you can soon deliver a prize winning speech? Let's talk about the three phases of preparation that I use to create my winning speech. Phase one, focus on your message. This used to be so hard for me. I mean, how do you distill your message into one clear thought? My contest speech was called the most difficult decision of my life. And the central theme was listen to your intuition. That theme ran throughout my speech and it told the story about how my intuition guided me through one of the hardest decisions of my life, whether to abort my fourth child or not. Once you know your message, you can come up with a hook or what's known as a phrase that pays. This is something that I learned from our former member, Jeremy Donovan's fabulous book, Speaker Leader Champion, Succeed at Work Through the Power of Public Speaking, featuring the prize-winning speeches, speeches of Toastmasters World Champions. It's a little hard to say. My special phrase was, you know the answer. And when you find your phrase that pays, it's gonna tie your speech together and it will leave your audience with something that's memorable. Phase two, craft your speech. Crafting a speech involves coming up with an outline and then flushing it out with relevant stories, creating solid points, typically three, and developing a powerful opening and closing. Write your first draft and then practice, practice, practice. I practiced my speech in front of my fellow Toastmasters so many times, you were all probably sick of me but I am so grateful to you because you gave me important feedback and I incorporated it all to improve every draft. And don't be afraid to edit. In a time speech, every single word counts. In fact, on the day of the contest, Amy Chu, my faithful friend, listened to me practice dozens of times and a few hours before the speech, I cut out a whole paragraph because I was afraid I would go over time. After you edit it down and you practice like crazy, the most important part in delivering a prize-winning speech is relax. I recommend the Superman pose to step into your power and then jump up and down to help calm the butterflies and the nerves. And now for phase three, create your own style. People will remember your stories. They will not remember statistics, facts, in a great speech, you're gonna tell engaging stories that teach something important, and you will present your stories in a way that's original to you. Please don't think you have to imitate another speaker. Instead, be the best version of you. And remember, also, have fun, because if you're not enjoying yourself, nobody else will. 
So when you show up as your authentic self with original solid content and a message that you believe in, your speech is going to rock. And that's going to put you on the path to delivering an epic prize winning speech. March 14th is this year's club contest. Who wants to win one of these this year?